Good afternoon and good morning. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Green Cloud and ZRound's joint webinar to discuss uh, easy, clean database solutions for MySQL apps. Um, Green Cloud has partnered with ZRound to deliver a zero management database as a service solution powered by Green Cloud's 100% renewable energy cloud service. My name is Paula Gould. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for Green Cloud. I'll be joined today by presenter Erika Rapsen, who's the co-founder and Chief Global Strategist for Green Cloud. And our presenter from ZRound is Atai Gull, who's a senior software developer. So we'll jump right in and introduce Erika, who will give a brief summary of Green Cloud, followed by a brief summary of ZRound presented by Atai, and the uh, overall overview of the joint services. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hello, my name is Ilko Trapsson uh, from Green Cloud. Let me give you a short overview of what Green Cloud is and, and what we do. So first of all, Green Cloud in the cloud stack are at the bottom of the stack. We are an infrastructure as a service, um, which means that we run compute and storage services um, that applications and platforms as a service are built on top of. Now, um, our main two products are computing and storage uh, and network bandwidth or network services. And the whole of Green Cloud is completely scalable and controllable via APIs, which makes it easy for us to integrate with such great services as uh, Zeround. Now, we're a public compute cloud, which means that we're available online in self-service um, self -service mode. Um, and we host our two data centers here uh, in Iceland, which is a unique location in many ways. It's becoming a network hub uh, with great low latency connections to both Europe and to North America, uh, giving us the uh, unique advantage uh, of um, availability uh, from one single point. Now we focus on three core things. We really want to make public cloud computing and especially infrastructure as a service really simple and easy to use. And that's one of the reasons why we chose Zeron as a partner of us, ours. Now our second goal is to dramatically reduce the CO2 emissions from the IT industry. And I'll go a little bit further into that, why we're doing that. And our third premise or the third disruption that we want to bring to this cloud computing market is to actually make cleaner computing cheap. Uh, this is a screenshot from one of our services, Compute Cloud, uh, where I'm showing a very, very easy to use um, management console for um, servicing uh, virtual servers. Uh, this you can use to, to install your applications and then connect them to the MySQL compatible Zeround database. Uh, we also have a unique feature in Green Cloud uh, of actually showing you the exact energy that your applications are using and the avoided CO2 emissions from using Green Cloud. Now, why is the, the emissions uh, a huge concern today? Why are they a huge concern? Well, the global Data storage market today is uh, set to in to increase 35-fold in the next six six years, uh, which will effectively double the global CO2 emissions from the IT industry. Uh, that is already responsible for two percent of global CO2 emissions, and therefore affecting uh, negatively uh, climate change. Now, the infrastructure as a service clouds are effectively storing all compute and storage uh, and are growing at an exponential rate. And at the same time, they're getting cheaper, uh, which actually increases the usage of the public compute clouds. So everything is heading in one direction. The energy need and the CO2 emissions from IT are growing exponentially with the, with the growth of the market. And we want to change all that. So. You heard probably before that the cloud is, is already green and it's greener than, than hosting your own servers. Well, there's a grain of truth in that, but actually if you look at a real world example, and we, we just put up one here that's uh, 
that's a little fun. Uh, for example, a web search uh, has been calculated to put out about C, uh, 7 grams of CO2, uh, which would make the, uh, the cheeseburger CO2 footprint equivalent of 5.80 grams, uh, roughly about 740 searches for funny cat pictures. So did you know that there are actually 113 million searches for funny cat, according to Google's keyword tool, a month? Uh, that's that's a, a big bunch of CO2 each month, uh, and if you calculate it on a yearly basis, you're going to see about 9,000 tons of, of CO2 emissions just for that one thing. That would equal 1.8 million cheeseburgers. Anyway, so the third point we had was the, actually the cost of, of clean cloud computing, and, and what is the cost of, of having a truly green compute cloud? Well, that's what we're here for, and we are, it's actually cheaper than going with the fossil fuel um, clouds. The reason for that is that fossil fuel prices are, of course, uh, increasing, and um, in the long run, the data centers that are focusing on the cheapest energy now, which is, which is basically coal, uh, will be the biggest polluters, or are the biggest polluters in IT, and they're their supply chain uh, is only going to be more and more expensive in the future. Now, Green Cloud is disrupting this by being the least expen expensive infrastructure as a service on the market. And in fact, we're about 10 to 40 percent cheaper than the market leader Amazon. So we do this by having 100 percent renewable powered geothermal and hydroelectric energy grid. And by offering the lowest on demand pricing, you're not only using a public compute cloud that is the truly green cloud and the most sustainable one, uh, but also there's no lock-in. So we provide um, API compatible services with Amazon. Uh, we give you unique features like built-in live energy and carbon savings reporting, and it's super easy to use. And by the way, Iceland is one of the top five safest locations in the world for data centers. And we're really thrilled to be able to extend our services uh, with this partnership with Zeround and, and bring our customers and, and customers of other clouds the opportunity to have their database um, on Green Cloud as well. So I'm going to give this over to Paul again. Thanks, AK, for the presentation. So basically, the review uh, or the recap is. We're making the cloud cheap, green, and easy to use. So we're going to switch over to Atai now, who will present uh, to you some information about um, uh, Zround, and then also give you a little bit of a demonstration on what uh, database as a service is and, and how they're integrated with, uh, with Green Cloud. So we'll switch over to Atai now. Thank you, Paula. Hi, everybody. I'm really happy to be here. My name is Itai, and I'm a software developer at Zround. Um, so today, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, us at Zround and what we do, and uh, demonstrate uh, how easy it is to create a free database over green cloud infrastructure. And then I'd like to talk a little bit more in depth about our architecture and demonstrate some of the more advanced features, uh, hopefully leaving some time for questions and answers at the end. So without further ado, let's jump right in. The round was founded in 2005 as a uh, telco-grade distributed database real-time provider. And we actually have uh, multiple live production sites, both in Israel and the US. A couple of years ago, the round decided to shift and focus on the public cloud. And we bring our unique design, which was actually um, built from the ground up to work in a, a cloud environment. And we utilize our uh, patented native virtualized cloud technology, um, which allows us to bring users a uh, very simple, easy to use, and powerful service. And we have about 15,000 active users today, and we've been growing constantly. A little bit about myself, I've been 15 years in software development, most of them in uh, distributed server applications. 
Uh, I've had the opportunity and challenge of spending the last four years at Surround developing uh, the back end of the cloud storage engine. So enough about us. Uh, let's see what we're about. Uh, Zeround is a zero management database as a service for MySQL applications. We provide true automatic elasticity and always on availability with just one click. So a little bit more about what that means. No installation. We take care of purchasing and installing all the machines. Um, from the uh, providers such as GreenCloud, we configure uh, the machine and the database. As you may know, databases are complicated machines with lots of little moving parts that sometimes require some tinkering. And we take care of, of all those details in the background. Uh, for example, backups, clustering, things like that you never have to worry about when you use our service. Uh, you don't have to manage the service either. You don't have to worry about monitoring, uh, crashes, scale, and these are things that you have to pay attention to due to the uh, dynamic nature of, uh, of the cloud and the internet in general. And we take care of th these things um, with our automatic failover and self-healing mechanisms, ensuring high, available, uh, high availability and scalability, and it's never been easier. So the end result is zero headache for you. And the best part is that you get to use it for free. Now, I'd like to demonstrate um, how easy it is to create a free Surround uh, database. Um, but before that, I'd like to uh, mention that Surround comes in three flavors, free, basic, and pro. Uh, the free version offers up to 10 megabytes storage. The basic has 250. And the pro uh, has unlimited uh, scale. Uh, high throughput, both read and write, and a bunch of other uh, advanced features. Now, currently, and I'd like to emphasize currently, um, the free plan is available on Green Cloud, um, but hopefully we'll be bringing uh, the other plans in the very near future. So let's jump ahead and take a look. First thing I need to do in order to create a Zeround database is go to Zeround.com and register. I can use this link here. And I'll be presented with a uh, short, simple form with my email and name. Um, upon completion, I will receive a confirmation email almost immediately. And from that moment on, I will be able to use the Zeround Management Console. So I've logged in here with my account. And um, at the top, we can see the list, the empty list, I should say, of uh, database instances that I've created. So let's go ahead and hit Create New up here. Uh, I'm going to select the free model. So the first choice I have to make is the data center I'm going to use. Obviously, I'm going to select Green Cloud and hit Next. Now I've got to um, choose a name for our database. And we'll use a user called Demo. Let's go ahead and click Create. And the Management Console will be showing us um, the progress of installing our database on Green Cloud. Now, this process can take a few seconds, up to a minute. And while this is going on, I'd like to talk a little bit more about what's going on under the hood. Excuse me. OK, so here's a high-level architecture overview. On the left in the red, we can see uh, the uh, management portal, which we've just used to create our database. Um, it actually activates the service via the service API here in blue, which in turn communicates with our backbone, which we call the DB as a Service Resource Manager, uh, which is responsible for allocating all the required resources in the cloud. Um, for our instance. And the database instance manager here on the right is what actually takes care of the components uh, in the storage engine. Let's take a closer look at the instance manager. It's actually built of uh, three layers. The top layer is the load balancer. Um, the load balancer, beyond balancing the load 
uh, actually maintains transaction uh, stickiness and handles failovers of the SQL engines. The SQL engines are uh, located uh, at the middle tier and they are basically uh, standard SQL, uh, MySQL engines. They process the requests from the user and uh, forward them to our distributed uh, storage engine. They assemble the results and pass them back on to the user. At the bottom we have our data store which is a our proprietary uh, distributed uh, database. Uh, we use a bunch of crafty algorithms like distributed hash tables, distributed vtrees, object stores, and some other secrets uh, that we use to keep your data highly available and accessible at all times. And it's important for me to stress that each element in this stack is uh, independently scalable. That means that we can uh, uh, scale different elements independently of the others for different purposes. For example, if you have a lot of connections or throughput to your application, we can just add a load balancer nodes and or uh, MySQL nodes. Um, if data scale is required, then we can easily add uh, storage nodes to accommodate your application's data needs. So let's head back to the console where hopefully our database is, uh, is finished initializing. As I mentioned before, at the top we have a list of our instances. At the bottom we have some more detailed information. Uh, the details tab shows us uh, a little bit of detail about our database. It has the name, the creation date, the data size, the data center, as well as the uh, uh, internal and external DNS uh, connection strings. This is what you uh, copy and paste into your application. And uh, you're up and running with Zeround. As we can see, our instance is healthy. Let's take a look at the monitoring tab where we have a couple of dashboards that can show us uh, the database usage in terms of data size, operations per second, CPU consumption, and connections. The backup and export is irrelevant to the free model, so we'll just skip right over to the event viewer. Uh, in this case, all we can see so far, we've created the instance and that's it. But we will see uh, events as I'll show Uh, this involves absolutely no downtime and is transparent to your application. There's no need for any kind of code or architectural cha uh, changes to your application or any kind of considerations such as sharding or other nightmares. We take care of all of that in the background for you. So your application will be unaffected even during a scaling transition. Um, another plus is that we, uh, we don't over-provision uh, we allocate exactly the resources that your application needs. And once you're done using them, for example, during uh, end of the month spikes or what have you, we'll scale back down so you don't end up paying for something that you don't use. Now here's a graph that I like that really illustrates this point. As you can see, the red line illustrates the application demand. Now we see a spike here. And now it doesn't matter what resource this is, it could be size or throughput or connections. What you can see is that existing VB as a services, illustrated by the yellow line here, they have a tendency to react slowly and they scale in large increments. And this can lead to late response, over provisioning, and resource intensive operation, which is not very good for your application. Uh, Zeround, on the other hand, uh, is fully automated and reacts very quickly. And as you can see by the blue line, we allocate exactly the resources that your application needs. Um, so I'd like to demonstrate this feature as well. I'm going to show you uh, an instance uh, uh, that I have on Green Cloud. This is a pro instance. And uh, let's, let's have a, a, a bit of a look at the monitoring tab. Uh, specifically, let's look at the connections. Now you'll notice that there is a yellow line and a red line here at 75 and 100 respectively. Now once the green line that indicates the application usage crosses the red line or even approaches it, a scale operation will take place and our, uh, 
our resource manager will allocate additional resources as needed um, to accommodate the, the additional connections. And this will take place in line without disrupting the application in any way. So allow me to just run a little script here that will open a couple of connections uh, to this database. And in a couple of seconds, we'll be able to see the green line on the connections dashboard start to take off. And once it gets near uh, the threshold, we, we should be able to see a scale operation uh, take place within a few seconds. There it is. Now uh, you can see, at the same time the scaling operation uh, began, these thresholds moved to their new locations since new resources have been allocated to this instance. So for example, where the uh, red line, the scaling threshold, was previously at 100, it's now at 125. And um, you can continue using your application throughout this process. Uh, once the connections are closed, we will see the system uh, scale back down. Um, one more thing I'd like to talk about before we wrap it up, because this is a critical feature that we offer, is high availability. Now, we use our in-house patented virtual partitioning technology um, to partition the data and spread it across, across servers. In this illustration, uh, physical servers are indicated by rectangles A, B, C, and D. And as you can see, we partition the data into four virtual partitions, P1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, each partition is replicated across two different physical servers, so uh, there is no one single point of failure within the system. For example, if server B were to crash, then uh, partitions P2 and P4 aren't lost because we have additional copies on servers A and B, respectively. Now, if in the event that this happens, the resource manager will step in and um, and allocate new resources, but in the meantime, the system does know how to heal itself by automatically regrowing the missing replicas. As we can see, P4 has been added, another copy of P4 has been added to server A, and P2 has been regrown on server D. Once the resource allocation has taken place, an additional server will be added to the instance, and these partitions well, will be moved there to, to even out the load. And we do keep a pool of uh, failover servers online to expedite this process. Okay, so that more or less wraps it up. Um, we've talked about uh, what, what our service really is. I've shown how easy it is to use. And we've even gone a little bit more into the details and under the hood of how we make it all work. Thanks so, so much, Itai. Actually, the two questions that we had were about scalability and um, and uh, server load. So you just actually answered the, <laughs> those questions. So um, I'm going to change our screen back over to Aki's screen and um, just kind of go into a little bit more detail about um, how you can find out about the service and, and test drive the service, uh, both on Green Cloud's um, greencloud.com. It's located right on the front page, and the link from the front page actually goes directly to the landing page on Zround. And um, the same thing with going to zround.com. There's a new section that uh, evangelizes our relationship. So if you click that link, you'll be easily able to see um, uh, how to how to set up the free trial so we're really excited about that and we're also really excited about moving forward with the additional applications uh our integration with with zround coming up in the future so we'll keep that in the news and when we're ready to make those announcements we'll we'll make those but in the meantime thank you so much both to Aki and to itai for presenting today if there are any other questions please direct them to twitter or facebook you can go to facebook.com greencloud or facebook.com zround and on twitter it's just at greencloud and at twitter so thanks so much, everybody, and we'll see you all again soon.